<laughs> we're just a little bit rocky. We, we, we can't just break up. up and leave. <laughs> we're, we're stuck. stuck. <laughs> Hi, thank you, fam. Hey, thank you, fam. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. So, first things first, we yeah. flopped last week. We flopped hard. We beg for your forgiveness right yeah, now. We only posted <laughs> one video last week. We're aiming for three, but last week was so difficult oh my that we didn't even manage. The so. struggles were real. In case you forgot, we're yeah. on this series of new beginnings. Last week we spoke about 2018, how for single people, you're going to live your yeah. best life, you're going to be happy. And in this week, we're talking to the married people. And we're talking about being happily married. Seriously. Because when we were in Hawaii, <laughs> yeah. Anna and I were walking, we were holding hands, we were skipping and we were smiling. <laughs> and the guy said to me, are you happy or are you married? And we were like, what? Yeah. Are you happy or are you married? Like they're mutually exclusive. Yeah. We looked at each other and we were like, mate, we are, we are happily married. We're <laughs> both. Yeah, 100%. So, like, Trust me, it's so easy to get into marriage and just be like two separate entities and yeah. just not happy. You, you don't even want to be married. Like someone forced you into the marriage. Yeah, exactly. Like it's actually really difficult to mm. stay content in marriage. The thing is, there's a perception that you can't be happy and married. It's mm. like when you're married, it restricts you. Yeah. So you can't do what you want to do, but yeah. that's not necessarily true. You can still do everything that you want to do. You can be happily married. Yeah, because I'm done. We've seen people like they got dragged into marriage, yeah. like it wasn't their choice, mm. and then you lose the intentionality, and then it's just like you're just two separate entities living 100%. in one building, and then no one actually wants to get married anymore because you're not showing that it's a fun experience. Exactly. And yeah. There's just so many consequences. Yeah. That's why divorce rates are at fifty yeah. percent. But like in specific cultures, it's like you're two in a house, you're married, but there's nothing really going on. Going on. So yeah. that will not be us. That in 2018. Exactly. And why is it that people are not happy when they're married and they're trying to run out, but the singles are trying to get into yes. marriage? It doesn't make sense. Contentment. It's all that about contentment and your perspective yes. in life. Yes, 100%. So regardless of the season that you're in, you can still have a good time. But this video is specifically to the married folk. Yeah. How we gonna be content, how we gonna enjoy. So let's talk about it. Mm. So, first things first, in order for us to be happy and married, yeah. not happy or married, mm. we actually need to give give thanks we need to be so grateful for our partner mm. and i know it's hard especially the longer you've been with them but yeah. that is a core foundation of keeping a relationship sweet 100%. right imagine if we all just kind of gave our partners appreciation mm. and it's something i'm still learning mm. because my default <laughs> position my default position is to find the negative in everything so even like yesterday anna walked into the bathroom like why is your shirt not ironed like i just my mind just goes yeah. what is the even problem even i look sexy she looked good, but, but that shirt was not like iron, and I could not take my attention away from the shirt. Another time, iron. last week, I cleaned the whole house, you know, and then um, he he came home and he was like, "Why is the ironing board there?" Of oh, all <laughs> things, you just noticed that the ironing board's in the wrong place. Like, come on. Yeah, so I, I have issues. I know. Yeah. But I realized as I kept speaking out these issues, I never appreciated Annabella, so I never showed my appreciation, and also. Anna was in a situation where she was constantly upset because she never met my expectations mm. and it's something I'm working on yeah. but, I, but for us we're just learning to give gratitude yeah. you know we're, and the simple things that we do is say I love you because not just I love you just mm. throw it out there mm. say I love you because you're beautiful yeah. I love you because you look after our home yeah. I love you because you're always there with a word of encouragement you know <laughs> or, <laughs> no seriously like, isn't it? Because yeah. I know that games is like that. I will actually ask him, okay, babe, can we sit down? Literally, can you yeah. hear me? Tell me why yeah. I'm an amazing wife. Why am I doing? Yeah. yeah. Because I could easily just go into my negative rut and just be like, oh, he doesn't appreciate me, he doesn't mm. care. But because I know the type of person that he is, and I know he is trying, so I'll sit him down like, babe, tell me why you love me. Tell me what I've done well this week yeah. or whatever. Because the worst time, so but important. ladies, can we just address something, please? What? Please don't ask just before he's about to sleep. <laughs> Because that's tiring and, and it's mean, okay? You've got work the next day. Like, some people, like, imagine, I'm like, uh, all right, good night, babe. Babe, <laughs> why do you love me? <laughs> but yeah, gratitude is yeah. so important. And it's for the small things yeah. as well. Like, I don't know, Anna even says thank you for me just taking the bin out. Something that I should just do naturally, but mm -hmm. she still shows her appreciation. We should never take anything for granted, no yeah. matter how small it may be. Yeah. And 
another way to be happily married is to date with intention. Oh my god! Like we love, we good, love it. Like we aim to have date night once a week, and when we don't have date nights, you we just can know. actually just know. <laughs> We're just a little bit rocky. Yeah, like, like this week. Yeah. We argue so yeah, it, much. Because it was such a busy week. Yeah. We didn't manage to fit in date night. Yeah. And like everything was just up in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for us, date night is an uninterrupted quality time with mm. each other. It's an opportunity for us to have fun, yeah, to yeah, just, yeah. you know, just talk. Because life is so busy that we Sometimes don't Sometimes you might yeah. not even talk. You might, might not even talk. You just went in and out. out. You were in, and yeah. then like we're just crossing over, exactly. just sleeping in the same bed. And then when I wake up, he's gone. Yeah. Like that's what can easily happen. Mm. And then in the long run, you don't know each other anymore. You, they're no longer your best friend. Yeah. You spend more time with people externally. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, no. this could get deep. Because for me, day, and we have fun with date night. Yeah. But date night is an opportunity just to pause time. Yeah, yeah. It's to ask some very important question. This yeah. is why we like to date with intention mm. on our date night. Mm. So we ask some very important questions like, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Like, is there anything that I should know that I should be praying for on yeah. your behalf? Like, you know. Am I doing everything okay? Yeah, is it okay? Is there any way I can help? Yeah. Like, or we might just have a random like Bible study. Like, yeah. let's seek God in this area yeah. together. What else or just do? like have fun and just laugh together. Yeah. It's been such a difficult week. Mm. Like, all of those things, we make sure that like, we, we do that together. We dream together. Yeah. Like, we're thinking about where we're going. Mm. Like, it's just an opportunity, whatever the season brings, yeah. like just bring it to the date night, talk it over, talk yeah. about finances, talk about all the different yeah. conversations on your date night because life is so busy, but we need to learn to reprioritize our marriage yeah. and not just be drifting um, around doing everything but yeah. not focusing on your marriage. Because the thing is, we actually believe that everything could be going terrible yeah. if your marriage and your household is in order, you have peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the opposite is not true. You can be, you can win the lottery, you can yeah. get a promotion, you can, I don't know, do whatever you want to do and your marriage is not good, you will crumble. Yeah, it's so true. It all starts from the inside out, yeah. not the outside in. Yeah. And I think for us, like, it's so easy to just go with the flow yeah. and just, oh, you know, be having them conversations like, oh, the weather's good, you know. <laughs> them conversations that you have externally sometimes and you're like, rah. But in my about? household, no. we will not do that. Like, we will talk we about will some real stuff. Real we'll situations. get to the root, no surface yeah, conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, no way. And I think that's really important to do because it really keeps us together. Yeah, 100%. And he is still the person that knows the depth of who I am. And the third and final way to be happily married. Well, well, well actually. There's, there's multiple yeah, ways. Yeah, there's loads of ways. Our, our final point. Yeah, our final point. <laughs> Sorry, like, wait, the list is endless. It's endless. But. What we think is really important is having a community around yeah. you as a married couple. Come on, like, I don't know what happens. Yeah. It's like, you get married, and then you're just left alone. Yeah, like, sometimes it's like, oh. you're lonely <laughs> in the car. Your single friends are backed away because they don't want a yeah. third wheel. Oh, they're married now, so this and that. Mm. And then you don't even know any married people because yeah. you just got married. Like, we're the first ones in our group to get yeah. married, so there's no one really around us yeah. who are married. Well, there's one couple now, which yeah. we're thankful for. But like sometimes you can still feel a bit isolated yeah. because, and it's not intentional. People are like, oh, they're too busy. Yeah. So, you know, I don't want to disturb them. Or and you are also busy because yeah. you're trying to work this marriage out. Do you exactly. know what I mean? So, so we realize that we put it on ourselves. Yeah. That if we want to have friends and we want to keep those friendships, yeah. we have to take responsibility for 100%. it. So we are the ones who schedule people in. Yeah, so, hey, yeah. like, let's grab dinner here. It's been a while. It's been a while. Let's, let's meet up. Let's meet up. Because the thing is, when we have a community, they can hold is accountable. Yeah. Like I can think about a one friend one friend I have who we go gym, he's also married, and then we'll just be talking about the wives, you know, yeah. how things go. How amazing we are, yeah, and know, all that kind of stuff. How blessed yeah. they are. Obviously. You know. And you know, like even last week we were talking and we're like, oh I was like, oh I'm just a little bit emotional kind of stuff. And then he would just boom, punch me in my face. Give me that uppercut. <laughs> Hold me accountable. That yeah. I am a man of my household, yeah. okay? And I should just take it. Annabella might have emotional tendencies, but as a man, I just have to take it with my chest. Yeah. You know, embrace it, cry in the bedroom by myself, <laughs> and just keep pressing on. Because friendship and community, they hold you accountable. Yeah. But if you've got nobody, how, how am I going to keep pushing myself to be a better man yeah. in this relationship? Yeah, 100%. And like, when you're going through difficult times, 
you know, if we you don't have call. anyone to call, then mm. you're just gonna end up divorced. Like literally, our friends will not let us break up. Exactly. We might want to break up, but our <laughs> friends will be like, well, "Where are you going? Where to you going? Get back into your house." And that's the type of friends that you want. Like anytime I try to call Kate games out to one of my friends, they're like, eh, "But no, no, like, you're the, you're the problem." You know what I mean? Those are the friendships that you need yeah. that will really hold you accountable. That will constantly keep lifting the standards yeah. up of what it is to be in a happy marriage, yeah. so that you can actually strive for something. Mm. So and you can actually you just do date nights you know sometimes it's good to have it with each other but yeah. sometimes it's good to have more people yes, around 100 and when you're talking about your issues with other people you realize actually we're not the only one in the world because <laughs> yeah, you, know I mean? you think that you're on your own you think oh he's the worst man and this yeah. and that and but so nah. like, actually we went through the situation yeah. and this is how we overcame yeah, it yeah, because yeah. sometimes when you're in your um in your problems, you've got like tunnel vision, yeah. you can't see a way out. Mm. But what's nice is to have people who've been through what you've been through and actually yeah. say, actually, if you just pattern up in this yeah. kind of situation, this is how you get through. Yeah, and even us just taking ourselves out of this environment of just us two yeah. and being able to laugh with other couples, you come back and you're actually a bit more, yeah, you're like, oh, a bit more fulfilled, you know, I'm having fun, you know, yeah. Okay. It's not that deep, mm. your perspective changes, but when it's just you two all the time, and you're bumping heads, you're just like, damn, get me out of here. Yeah. So, yeah, I think community is so important. And even with family, like it even like I've seen with us two coming together mm. as a union, like our parents, our moms are really close. Yeah, yeah. Our sisters are really close. Yeah. There's a big community. Yeah. Now I don't want to like sometimes Annabella might not be a, big, a good enough reason for me to want to stay in this marriage. Yeah. But knowing that our moms are now very good yeah. friends and our sisters are very good friends, it's a compelling reason to constantly keep us striving yeah, to stay yeah. in this relationship 100%. because the damage that we will cause by just splitting everyone up yeah 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 it's painful yeah. so it's like you need added layers <laughs> <laughs> so that the decision of breaking up or whatever is not mm. based on just you two alone because you could easily keep looking at your imperfections yeah. and the struggles and everything but really it's much bigger than that yeah. like uh, we're building something greater our kids are going to come into an environment where their parents actually love each yeah, other that is the oh goal. Come on. that is the best and like a good example of a man a good example of a woman mm. our families are connected like M Gabriel's sister is my sister's bridesmaid like a lot of things are just unifying because of our marriage yeah, so it's crazy, we can't just we, we can't just break up I believe we're, we're stuck, stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys that is it have yeah. you got anything else to say? I'll say a very important one another way to be happily married yeah. is to enjoy the benefits of sex. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I knew that would come from you. Well. Like we we've spoken about it in previous relationships how we waited to have sex yeah. and like you know we and so because of that we see the value in having yeah. sex and also sex for us is also an indication when things are not going um well oh, well, yeah. that we haven't really spoken about because you know one week might go past you know okay fair enough nah, but that's two serious. yeah that's like, there's grace there's grace. <laughs> But the two weeks, I'm like, hold up. Man. Wait a minute. Something Wait, ain't right. Something's not real. So yeah. it's like, we get to, like, what's going on? Yeah, Are we start right? talking. We start, we're yeah. Like, is Maybe. everything okay? Yeah. Like, you know, you stressed at work, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, that's you me know? having that conversation with you, huh? <laughs> no, that's me having that conversation with you. But I'm ready, okay? Yeah, but yeah, yeah you are, enjoy always. the benefits of sex. Yeah. Sometimes, you don't have to argue about everything. Yeah. Just Sex up, yeah. yeah, it's so true. It's, it's a, and it actually makes you feel better. Well. Oh, then awesome. you can talk about the situation yeah. from a perspective of we're happy. Yeah, we're than, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're intimate and yeah. that stuff. And sometimes, like, you have to be intentional with sex. Yeah, Some people I'm actually fair. might have to schedule it in the diary because life just gets because a little bit happens. too busy. Seriously, like. Yeah. If you know you've got a big thing in the next day and you, you might not want to be tired yeah. when you wake up or yeah. you might be rushing to work and you're because mm. most of the time we're like, oh crap, the alarm and then we just dash out yeah. of the house and we don't have time. You know like sometimes you want to just like wake yeah. up and you just roll and be yeah. like oh. hey, baby. <laughs> no, but seriously. those opportunities don't really yeah. happen because life is just so busy, so yeah. we need to make it a priority. Yeah. Like, I know people who will literally schedule a day <coughs> and in the morning of that day they're warming each other up via text yeah. you know texting each other up like oh you know can't wait for tonight maybe girl yeah. whatever whatever they've got candles set up and then it's like a proper sex night do you know yeah. what I mean? rather than a quick like because <laughs> <like, laughs> you ain't got no time seriously i realized how intentional we have to be with everything in life guys. Yeah. seriously we are not, not dead fish. fish so yeah. guys peace and love, peace and love. 
works. Hope you like the video. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe yeah. and we'll catch you at the next one. See you guys. Peace. Bye.